Hello and welcome to the 1000 Curiosities channel. In this episode, I will speak about the donkey. The donkey was domesticated about 4000 years ago in the area of the ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. Always in the shadow of the horse, its close relative, the donkey walked humbly but confidently throughout the history. It is thought donkeys descend from a species of wild ass known as the onager which disappeared in the 17th century. The idea that the donkey is a symbol of ignorance is a false idea. Scientists say that the donkeys are very intelligent animals. Famous for their so-called stubbornness, donkeys don't have this pure human characteristic, but they show a sense of self-preservation much more pronounced than in horses. Humans translated the strong instincts of the donkey as stubbornness, or even worse, malevolence. Besides its intelligence, the donkey is a friendly animal, playful, alert and curious. Donkeys are more independent than horses in thinking and will make a decision only after they will think about their safety. They love being around humans, are very affectionate and can be extraordinary pets. Donkeys can also be used to guard sheep and goats. They are some very fearless warriors, their defense being unexpectedly aggressive, using bites and dangerous kicks both with their front and their back legs. A donkey doesn't have the elegance or the size of a horse, but it is much stronger than a horse of a similar size. On top of that, they are much more resilient to illnesses and wounds they feed on vegetable waste that the horse would immediately reject. It is known that donkeys eat thistles and even some varieties of cactus. Being a herbivore animal, it feeds on grass, maize, weeds, alfalfa, cereals, but also loves dry bread. It doesn't tolerate cold, wind and humidity. It gets colds much faster than horses. It doesn't like the rain because its fur is not waterproof. The donkey is a social animal. It is happy if it has at least one more donkey around it to keep it company. Horses, sheep or goats can also be good companions for the donkeys. There are three types of donkeys classified by their shoulder height. Dwarfs up to 90 cm, medium donkeys up to 121 cm and the tall ones that exceed 145 cm. The most common colors of donkeys are brown, dark brown, black and their variants. The cross on their back is a characteristic of their species and its color always has a darker hue. This has led to all sorts of speculations in the Christian religion and not only. 2000 years ago, Maria, Joseph and baby Jesus traveled on a donkey when they ran to Egypt to escape King Herod who was killing all the babies. 30 years later, Jesus Christ entered Jerusalem, cheered by the crowds, riding on a donkey, a gentle and simple animal. In that period, horses were used by the rich or by the soldiers. For thousands of years, donkeys helped humanity being the principal beasts of burden. In many countries, donkeys are still being used as a preferred means of transportation. In the desert, a donkey can hear another donkey's hee-haw from a distance of up to 100 kilometers because they have very large ears. Their ears also help them regulate their body temperature. The world's smallest donkey is Knee-High, who lives at Best Friends Farm in Gainesville, Florida. However, there may be a new record holder, Oti, who lives with his owner in Sawtree, Cambridgeshire, United Kingdom. He is 9 inches smaller than knee high, but cannot be registered until he is at least 1 year old. At the other end of the spectrum, the tallest donkey measures 155 cm and is from Watsonville, California. Donkeys have an incredible memory. They can recognize areas and other donkeys they met up to 25 years before. Donkey milk is used in the treatment of whooping cough and even in cosmetics. 
donkey meat and milk are consumed by very few people, among them are the Italians, annually being sacrificed around 1000 donkeys out of which they prepared some traditional recipes in the southern parts of the country. A donkey's hee-haw lasts 20 seconds and can even be heard from a distance of 3 kilometers. Its mane is short and bristly. Its tail ends in a tuft of hair and looks like a cow's tail. Its weight can be between 50 and 480 kilos. The gestation period of a donkey lasts 12 months and usually between April and June they give birth to a single foal very rarely to twins. The little donkey stands up immediately and by the next day it is already running. When born, a donkey already has all its smaller teeth grown. It is estimated that currently in the world live about 41 million donkeys. 11 million of them live in China, followed by Pakistan, Ethiopia and Mexico. In the Middle Ages, along with the goat, the donkey had a satanic image. Even today, its negative image still follows the donkey, being considered in some nations as a symbol of stupidity. Recognized for its strength, a donkey jaw helped the biblical character of Samson to kill 1000 enemies. If a horse mare is crossed with a male donkey, their offspring is called a mule. If a donkey female is crossed with a horse, their hybrid offspring is called a hinny, and its physiology and behavior are different from the mule. Both the mules and the hinnies are completely sterile animals. A donkey can live a long life, reaching an age of 50 years. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. My name is Christian. And until the next video, all the best.